Hi everyone, I'm Ishan Sharma and today I want to share with you a personal story, right? So back when I was in first year of college, I joined this uh, society in my college called as Developer Society of Bits Goa, right? DevSoc we used to call it. And when I joined it, I realized that there are certain seniors in that club which are having crazy developer skills, right? Like they've built tons of apps themselves. They have created these things on their own while being in second, third and fourth year of college, right? And I was wowed when I saw that. So I just one day reached out to one of those seniors saying that, hey, I see that you've been building a lot of interesting stuff and sharing it in the WhatsApp groups and in the emails. Uh, please tell, how do you exactly do all of this? Like what helped you to become a better developer, to become a 10x developer versus the other people in my college, right? Like how did you gain all of this when most people were learning about assembly code or they were learning about C++ and all of that. You were actually deploying code on Polygon, on Ethereum. You were actually building full stack web applications. Like how do you learn all of this? What led to your growth, right? So he just smiled and said, Shan, we focus on building by hacking our way through it and not learning everything in the traditional way. The traditional education that you will see in your four year computer science degree is that they teach you everything from the very fundamental basics. That is important and they followed that, but on top of it, they also focused on their self learning and learning by building things on their own. And they said that one of the best things that they have done is to participate in hackathons. And that is what led to most of their growth. It led to more opportunities. It led to them being able to win prizes that then led them to pay their own college fees. So there were a ton of benefits that I saw when I talked with him about hackathons in general. And that is when I asked him, what exactly is a hackathon and how can it help me? So he said that, hey, Shan, basically it's a challenge that you try to solve by coming up with your own solution. Right? There is a problem statement, you try to solve that. There are themes upon which you try to build your own application in a specified amount of time. That could be 24 hours, that could be 48 hours, etc. And then you submit it to the judges and your project is reviewed. They look at your source code, they look at the idea itself, they look at the execution, they look at the design aspect, they look at how can it actually impact real world problems and how can it help solve those problems and then if your project is good enough you get to win that hackathon and when you win that it comes up with tons of great opportunities both in terms of the prize money as well as in other internship opportunities or you can also get your first round of seed funding to take up that idea and build something bigger right there are tons of companies that have come out of hackathons now one month later right about february of 2020 is when we had our first hackathon in our college i think it was called hack the bay and that is when i got started i knew i had to take part in this hackathon it was i believe 48 hours long i came to the lecture hall and i started exploring about the problem statement, about the people participating here. Also, not only is it great when you win it, even if you don't end up winning the hackathon, you get a ton of advantages. You get experience of building something from scratch in a less amount of time. You learn to interact with other teams and understand what is it that they are building and what problem are they trying to solve. I used to roam around during that 48 hours and meet every single team and try to understand what they are doing exactly and how they start this and what is the application of this. Number three, you get grilled on by the judges, right? So they will basically ask you questions like, hey, tell me how it works, why didn't you think about it, why didn't implement it? So there are tons of these questions that they'll ask you and that will help you develop that logic that thinking capacity about an app, about a problem you're trying to solve. And of course, at the end, you also end up winning a ton of swags, you win stickers, you get free food, and all of that is secondary. The more important is the exponential learning that you have, right? And that is what enables you to become a 10x developer, better than other developers who are learning everything from the very fundamental level and slowly gradually going up to that level of building apps themselves. Whereas you are going into the mindset of building something and how you build it is what you will figure out. 
right? You end up figuring out a lot of things during that time period and building something of value at the very end of the hackathon. So those were the benefits. I took part in that hackathon and I learned a lot about building something from scratch. Again, I was just a first year student. I did not know how to build all of these things. So I tried my best try to build something, it did not win any prizes, but I got to learn a lot, right? I made some new friends. I just had a great time overall in that experience itself. Now, ever since I came to Bangalore, I have been attending a ton of Web3 hackathons and events in general. And I'll tell you this, there's a lot of opportunities in this space, right? Both if you want to build your own startup in the Web3 ecosystem, and number two, getting an opportunity as a software engineer. The salaries of the software engineers working at Web3 companies is crazy, right? Like it is a lot more than what you would get paid at a fan company. And hence it becomes more lucrative, right? And you're working on the cutting edge technology, right? Which can turn out to be the future of the world as we live in, right? So that is the opportunity that you can get advantage of with the help of Web3 hackathons. So that was about my experience. Now you will say, yeah, Irshan, this is all big, but what do we do with all of this? How do we participate in this hackathon? How do we learn about this? How can we leverage Web3 and build something in this space? Well, that is where I want to share with you this hackathon that is currently running. It is in the online mode, organized on Hacker Earth. You can take part in it from the comfort of your home build something of value. The last date is 15th of December. The hackathon is called Build the Future, a global Web3 hackathon, right? The link is in the description for you to sign up for this hackathon. I'll tell you all about it in this video as well. But if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel as well. And let's take a look at this hackathon and what it has to offer to you. So as you would see, I am on hackerearth.com. It's a great place for you to get opportunities as a developer as well as learn, become better at solving coding interviews. Now, when you will scroll down, you will find this thing called as hackathons over here. Just, just click on this. And when you will do that, that will open up all of the live hackathons that are currently there on Hacker Earth platform. Just click on the first one, which is Build the Future, a global hack for Web3, right? This is organized by Coinbase Cloud, as well as Polygon and Coindesk, right? So these are three, some of the biggest names in the crypto space, in the Web3 space, and they have come up with this hackathon that is available for anyone around the world. It's an online hackathon. You can take part in it and you can win grants up to $100,000 from all of the sponsors in this hackathon. So as you can see, these are all the hackathon sponsors in front of you. The hackathon began on the 31st of October. It will be ending on the 15th of December. So depending on when you are seeing this, it might be time for you to start registering. It's a very simple process. Just click on register now. You can sign up. And once you do that, you can now click on register. You can enter all of your details like your name, your current location, your resume, your educational details, some other details like Discord, Telegram, and then you can click on submit. And that is when you'll be able to participate in this hackathon. Right now, let's try to understand more about this hackathon right here. So this was the overview. Again, the sponsors are right here as I told you before. They have grants for all of the teams that take part in this hackathon, right? So when you use their technology, when you build something using their platform, and if it turns out to be a great application, you end up winning a ton of prizes that I'll be talking about in this video as well. Now, you know, the best part about the hackathon is that it is not just a hackathon. It is a lot more than that, right? So if you will have a look at this, you will get workshops. There will be mentor sessions. There will be Twitter spaces. There will be office hours and there will be networking as well. This is a great way for you to find your next co-founder. This is a great way for you to find a team member for a startup you've always wanted to build in the Web3 space. If you will go down, you will look at all of the companies that are hosting this hackathon, which is Coinbase Cloud. It provides Web3 APIs, SDKs, services, and infrastructure to power the next generation of software builders. Basically, they have some great tools that you can use to build Web3 applications from scratch. Coindesk is again one of the most influential uh, information platform for Web3. And then you have Polygon, right? All of us know Polygon. It is a decentralized Ethereum scaling platform and it enables developers to build 
scalable user friendly dapps i have attended ton of hackathons that are presented from polygon and all of them have been great experiences to meet people to build something of value and again you can take part in this hackathon using hacker earth as i've just shown you right here now if you will go down you will have a look at the workshop calendar as well and you can join their discord channel if you want to meet and interact with people over there so this is what the calendar looks like as you can see there are a ton of events happening over here for networking for workshops as well and then you can go down and you can pick the one that you want to take part in again all of this is happening online you don't need to go anywhere and you can attend this you can build something from the comfort of your home then we have the themes right so there is a challenge right create the next great project that will onboard the next 100 million users into web3 the categories as you can see is defi nfts gamefi social fi metaverse wallets privacy web2 to web3 so for example you have defi decentralized finance you can look at all the sponsors and you can see what are they offering to help you build in this category then again you have wallets and dapps if you will go down you will also have metaverse and nfts as one of the themes just an example of the bounties and prizes that you can take if you will use coinbase wallet and the coinbase node to build the dapp the best dapp wins $10,000 the second best wins $7,000 and the third one $3,000 as you can see right here then again we have dows you can look at all the cash prizes $30,000 for the best defi dapp built on polygon the best nft and gaming dapp built on polygon $5,000 $3,000 $2,000 there are tons of opportunities for you to explore and build something that actually interests you right then you have web3 for public good you also have web2 to web3 so basically taking a look at all the applications that we currently have in the web2 space and converting it into a web3 application again you can look at the rules over here so that you have more context this you must have four team members if you want to join and take part in this hackathon right now your project must include one of the technologies of the sponsors in your app if you want to win else your project will be disqualified as you can see right here you can invite your friends for your team you can also tell other teams to invite you as a member or you can find team members on the discord server that they have i've already talked about the timings of this hackathon it is an online one you can participate from anywhere there are six themes that i've talked about previously once it starts you get an option to submit your hack you can submit as many hacks as you want but the last one will be considered as the final submission right you are expected to come up with new and innovative ideas obviously if you copy a previous idea your project will be disqualified right your hack must be developed entirely during the hackathon duration right you can use open source libraries and other systems and services available to you like you know you have google maps api you can use facebook connect you can have twitter feeds and all but you have to build something in this time frame itself so that is how this works again you can have a look at the faqs as well as the teams taking part in this hackathon and you can start by clicking on register now and take part in this wonderful opportunity that will help you to build something from scratch learn in the process take part in the workshops events networking sessions and what not and become a 10x developer overall again this opportunity of building something on the decentralized web is huge and there are tons of developers taking advantage of it in these hackathons so go take a look at the link in the description and register for the build the future hackathon on hacker earth the link is in the description once again thank you so much for watching if you have any questions let me know in the comment section uh, that is all from me today i will see you all in the next video and i hope you start applying i hope you start executing and i hope you have a great day overall bye bye